Hi, my name is Ben Gessoff and I am a consultant at Open Credo. Recently, we have been working with a well-known CDN and cloud platform on their Terraform provider. And in doing so, I came across a quick tip for debugging that I would like to share. Debugging can be a little tricky when it comes to Terraform providers. The logs can be very noisy, making it hard to find what you're looking for. And perhaps if you're new to Terraform and provider development, you might not know exactly how the protocol between Terraform Core and the plugins work. And therefore it can be a bit confusing to work out how certain diffs and plans are being created. Fortunately, it is easy to run the plugin via a debugger and to connect Terraform to it. This allows you to set breakpoints anywhere in your provider code or even in the plugin SDK to step through exactly what is happening behind the scenes. I'll run you through the process to get this set up. Firstly, we need to make sure that the provider is set up correctly for debugging. This just means that in the main function, you can optionally call plugin.debug instead of plugin.serve using a flag. Normally, when you run Terraform apply, it will run the plugin in a sub-process and connect with it over gRPC. Um, and that's what plugin.serve expects. Um, that will fail if you try and run plugin.serve outside of a Terraform sub-process. You'll, you'll get this message if you try and run it um, directly. So instead, we can just use this um, debug command line flag um, and specify that we want plugin.debug to run instead. Um, this will start up the gRPC server um, in a separate instance and print out the information we need to be able to connect Terraform to it. Um, your plugin may already have this support, but if not, um, this example should be easily adapted. Um, you can see I'm using the HashiCups uh, demo provider from HashiCorp to, to demonstrate the process, but it, it's pretty easy to just convert this to any provider using the plugin SDK. Um, secondly, what we need to do when we compile this is to make sure it's compiled in uh, debug mode or without optimizations. Um, effectively, this just means that the debugger is able to um, map between the compiled instructions and your source code so um, you can step through it more naturally. Um, depending on your debugging tool, um, this might be done uh, automatically so you don't have to worry, but it's just something to be aware of. Um, for example, I'm going to use Delve um, to demonstrate this process, um, but this process should be pretty much the same for any debugger, whether you're using uh, JetBrains Goland or VS Code um, or another debugging tool. Um, either way, when we run the compiled plugin, we just need to remember to pass the debug flag, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and with Delve, the command is as simple as Delve debug um, and then the flags at the end, as you can see here. So if I go ahead and run that, it will compile the program for us um, and then load it into Delve, but not run it. Um, I'm not going to do a detailed Delve tutorial. Um, there's plenty of better resources out there, but um, yeah, I'll kind of give a quick overview of what you can do. So yeah, we've loaded the program in, but we're not running it yet. So we can um, set some breakpoints before we actually um, start. Um, and in this case, I'm going to put a breakpoint on the create function for the order resource. Um, obviously, this will depend on the provider you're using. Um, but Delve has managed to map that back to the source file. Um, and we're ready to go. So continue. We'll start the program. And you can see that uh, the plugin has helpfully printed out this message um, telling us what we need to do. So just follow the instructions. I will copy and paste this environment variable um, into a different shell because I'm running the debugger in the left. Um, so I'm going to go to the right and paste that in. Um, this is the shell I'm going to run Terraform in. So um,
quickly destroy it because I already had it running. And I'll apply it again. You can see I've uh, just got some test uh, Terraform code to create a new order. Um, and I will just confirm the plan with yes. And you can see on the left that the breakpoint has been triggered. We're now in the create function as we requested. And we can type next to step through uh, line by line and trace the execution of the provider like this. Uh, we can also print out the uh, local variables or evaluate expressions or really um, dig into what's going on uh, as much as we need to. Um, you can see on the right that Terraform is waiting for a response. We've paused, obviously, so if I type continue again, that will allow Terraform to continue. Um, something I like to do, uh, a particular thing I found useful, is to set breakpoints in the plugin SDK's gRPC provider file. Um, this allows me to directly see the messages that are going between Terraform core and the plugin. And that can really help to understand why certain diffs are occurring and, and what you might need to do to fix them. Um, so yeah, hopefully this tip has been useful. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you have your own tips for debugging Terraform providers. Um, I would love to hear from you. Um, also, if you'd like me to write a more detailed blog post on this, outlining each step a bit more clearly, then let me know uh, and I'd be happy to do that. But yeah, thank you very much for your time and good luck in your own development.